The Chagos Archipelago is the world's largest marine protected area and is well known for its beautiful coral reefs. But in our changing climate, we have in recent years seen a decline in coral reefs across the world, and despite being a protected area, this does not make the Chagos Archipelago immune to these pressures. The health of coral reefs is dependent on numerous factors, but an abundant supply of juvenile corals is a crucial prerequisite for the long-term viability of coral reefs, and a lack of this initial supply in many areas across the world has led to a continued decline of reefs. As a method of assessing the current health and long-term viability of the coral reefs of the Chagas Archipelago, we measured the juvenile corals of 15 different sites in April 2013, and ascertained the current abundance of juveniles and saw which factors seem to affect their distribution. Juveniles in over 300 quadrats of 0.25 metres squared were counted on transects at intervals of 5 to 25 metres in depth. We only counted those corals less than 15 millimetres on their largest diameter, and also estimated the percentage of substrate unavailable for settlement. We found that the recruitment patterns were significantly different in lagoon slopes and ocean-facing slopes, with the p-value from a two-tailed teak test coming out at 0.001. This higher level of recruitment on ocean-facing reefs compared to lagoons is somewhat surprising. Lagoons experience a less constant temperature and a slightly higher sedimentation rate, which could negatively affect the juveniles. However, we would expect the lagoons to be more of a trap for released larvae, meaning there should be more juveniles present here. It is conceivable that the coral larvae grow faster in the lagoon conditions and therefore remain within our definition of a juvenile coral, that is of one less than 50 millimetres for a shorter length of time. We also saw that seaward slopes generally showed an increasing juvenile densities to 15 metres, while in lagoons densities declined strongly from about 10 metres in depth. These distribution differences were extremely significant at different depths, with the p-value from a chi-squared test was 0.0001. This is likely due to the advantages of this depth over the pressures present at shallower and deeper sites. Those at 15 metres are less exposed to the rough waves unlike those at shallower depths, yet still have adequate light unlike those at deeper depths. We also found a correlation from a Spearman's rank correlation coefficient between the amount of adult coral cover and the juveniles, giving a p-value of 0.001. It is logical to think that the fewer juveniles leads to less adult coral cover and that the habitat with less adult coral may be grazed more by such things as parrotfish, and this grazing also removes juveniles. Chemotaxis attraction may also play a significant role at the sub-metre scale measured within these quadrats. For Chagos, these results show a healthy supply of juvenile corals, which is encouraging for prospects of future coral growth.